Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, coming at you with another video on every LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars set related video. Total, we got four prequels slash Clone Wars related sets this year, and they are all pretty good. Between these four sets, we get 16 minifigures in a variety of prices. And I will be going on to each of the figures, each of the sets, each of the prices, and which is the best buy, and all these other tiers right now. Here is every figure we get in this wave in terms of the prequel characters, and it is quite an amazing wave. So you'll notice here, this is all the movies, these two, um, and these are the, uh, this is the show. But an interesting thing I want to point out is that on the LEGO website, it says that Anakin Starfighter is a Clone Wars vehicle, which I find interesting. But yeah, so I'm going to be getting into them as well as some cool uh, pairs you can make. First, I want to say I love that we get Anakin, Ahsoka, and Obi-Wan back together again in another wave. Now, obviously, I have like I think the Ahsoka figure is a little tall and a little big. It could have used midi legs or something else. I don't know. Just a little tall for me. Uh... But yeah, they are very epic. Um, now, I know the big complaints are these, the dual Mustafar um, torsos. And honestly, I don't mind that much. Like, I don't obsess over it that much like a lot of other people are upset about it. Um, I think it, it, it's, it's fine. I personally think Anakin should have had his uh, dark hair, not the light one. I just don't understand why they chose the light one. But this isn't the full review of that set. But yeah, here we are, have Anakin and R2, who came in Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. And, you know, I think they are prob this is probably the biggest letdown of a set in terms of just figures. Actually, I take that back. Um, this is the second biggest letdown, or third best, if you will. Um, it's it just okay. If it, It's not too exciting. It, 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 what do you expect? It, it's nothing. There's nothing new. Next up, we have the set people only buy for the figures. That is the AAT. Now, this comes with two battle droids, an, Ahso uh, an Ahsoka clone trooper, and Ahsoka Tano herself. Now, personally, uh, I think that this figure, in terms of the minifig selection, should have included a second 332nd trooper. Like, that is a must. I think it's kind of absurd that I didn't. If they did, the set would have sold a hundred times better. I would have bought, like, six of them if it had two. But it doesn't, so, yeah, that, that's sad. But we also get Ahsoka, which is a very nice figure. Um, if you didn't, if you, before you had to pay a hundred bucks to get uh, an Ahsoka, now it's less than like 10 probably you can get it for really cheap online now and all over the place you also get these two kashik and battle droid pilots it was weird they want they label one like battle droid one battle aat pilot and in another set they're kashik battle droids make up your mind lego next up now we have the most disappointing figure selection now this set inc includes the obi-wan with the wrong torso the general grievous which of course while always cool it's General Grievous, and we have the Airborne Trooper, which is definitely underappreciated. I still love this guy. This guy is going to be worth a lot in the future, I have a feeling, because he is so exclusive and, you know, nobody really wants to buy the set because it's overpriced, so he's definitely going to be going for a lot. I have a feeling. That, that's just my gut reaction. Like, I think he's going to be going for a lot one day. Um, I Now, I think, obviously, the set was missing out on Commander Cody. I think for the price of uh, $70, or almost 80 if, after tax and everything. It is uh, quite absurd that it doesn't come with four figures. It should have came with a Commander Cody, or if not, like a Magna Guard maybe, a, f a fourth figure, or just something. At least four figures. I think that's only fair. And finally, we have the greatest possible minifigure selection of all time, the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set, coming with three 501st Clone Troopers, an airborne 501st Trooper, um... I say airborne, but it's actually just a jet trooper, and two B-1 battle droids. Now, these are beautiful figures with amazing printing, and we also got the brand new clone head, which I didn't address before. It also comes in this guy, and the other Ahsoka trooper as well, and it is just absolutely amazing that we finally have this. It was truly a great accomplishment from the LEGO Star Wars community. That set, here it is, the 501st Legion clone trooper set. Now, we come with two builds here. Now, they are very nice. Um, we get First, we get a speeder. They are slightly out of proportion, which stinks. But yeah, so you just basically load up, you know, your, your clone boy. It fits good. I think this out of the builds, this one is the, probably the more accurate looking. 
but probably the less functional because it's still I still have a problem with these handlebars. They're hard to take the figure off, and the figure usually escapes with the handlebars. And see, even just putting it on is a struggle. Um, I find with this set, um, piece count is great. Um, figure count obviously beautiful. Um, it's thirty dollars, and I think that for all you get in this set, it is an amazing value. Which brings me to my next point. How are these two things the exact same price? This and this. We have Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, which I'll be doing a video on soon. But this is a great set. It comes with um, these figures, in terms of the build at least. The figures are just meh. I mean, you can't really do much. It's Anakin's Starfighter in terms of selection. In terms of detail, they definitely could have done much better. But it's definitely much more structurally stable than the original back in 2014. The things, like the, the, the spring-loaded shooters fire like nothing it's going out of business or going out of style you have these great s foils um i think they look great you could recreate the scene where anakin says this is where the fun begins i just think that personally this ship has been over recreated um the last time we got like you know all the other jedi starfighters has been a while and i i, I well i do like it I, I think that it could have been something else and we've just gotten too many anakin starfighters and some the uh, the first one is still on shelves which is crazy. Next up is the AAT, and aside from its head thing looking ridiculous, it is a great little build. It is very structurally stable. I love the roundness down here. If they could only make the head squish it in a little more and fix this cannon from being like huge, uh, it would be great. The figure obviously gorgeous. You get these beautiful inside. Um, this is just a brief overview. You get the little opening hatch up here. You get the turrets that can go up here. It's great for playing. I'd recommend at least getting one of these. I wouldn't recommend getting more than two. Um, and that, that's literally all I get. Um, I get two. That's it. Um, because then you get two Ahsoka Troopers, four of these battle droids, and then you have an extra Ahsoka. Because why not? Um, if you got three, I mean, you could get three. I've gotten three. I'd be as I forgot I ordered one on Amazon for pre-order. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's where I'm at with this set. Now let's move on to the final one. Also, this one retailed for 40 bucks. Just thought I'd point that out. But yeah, let's move into the final one, General Grievous' Starfighter. This set, uh, admittedly, is an amazing build. It definitely lacks in the price department. It is probably the most overpriced LEGO set in existence, short of maybe some exclusive sets, like um, but they're exclusives, so they get to cost less. But retailing at $70 or $80 almost is just absurd. Um... And the figure selection doesn't make up for it either. The figure selection is nothing special. I think the only special thing is this figure. And for a non-clone collector that isn't like myself, that is just crazy. I mean, while well, it does have that nice little printing, it is not in any means w w worth the amount of money it costs. Well, with that said, should you still buy it? Yes, I still think you should buy it if, you, if, if this is the type of stuff you like. If you like the prequels or any of those movies, I still think you should buy it. I have a feeling it won't be going on sale because it's still been selling, um, and I think you should still buy it, that's because, like, if that's what you like, then go ahead, if you don't like it, and you're resenting it only because of the price, I mean, I guess that's fine too, but, like, if you want it, but you're not buying it because it's the money, I, if, if it's, like, but this, between this and an extra, tw if it was an extra $20 or this, I honestly think it's worth getting it, just to try, I mean, it can't hurt, I, I still think it's okay, um, in terms of the set, and everything's great, it's just the price, that's literally it. Obviously the set I think you mo should buy most, and I think many of you would agree, it is the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set. Now, obviously, it ha goes without explanation, you get four figures, two builds, and two battle droids, or six figures if you count the battle droids, all for the low price of $30, or $29.99, um, in the USA, and it is amazing. And obviously we know all the campaign, you guys know that stuff. Um, and I think it is definitely worth picking up. Now, I think the best looking one is definitely the General Grievous Starfighter. Now, that comes with a cost, and I think the major, the only major blemish here is this, um, little tan part. I think they could have masked that better. Um, but other than that, it is a gorgeous looking set. Whether you'd mind the price or not, it looks amazing. My runner-up for this spot would have been the Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, because it is a, a nice looking set. I just don't think it's worth this. It, you should be buying the the file first battle pack um, after this one because this one's obviously less good. I'd still recommend you buy it if you don't have the original from 2014. It's a nice pickup. Then you get to say you have all those sets. And yeah. Now in terms of the best figures, I'd say it's definitely a tie 
for the AAT and the Fire Force Legion of Clone Troopers. Well, obviously this is great. The Ahsoka figure is absolutely stunning. Um, with that goes without being said. Um, like obviously there's some minor blemishes, like the thing moment on her head being raised too high, or you know the arms or the legs or what, whatever it may be. And obviously the Fire Force Troopers have their flaws too. A lot of people have um, with them. Mine personally probably being the gray section in the helmet. Other than that, I don't think I have a problem with them. I didn't even want to take this guy off the speeder because I don't want to have to pull it off again. But, yeah. Now, with that said, let's get into the final thoughts. Mm -hmm.